The latest now on the coronavirus emergency. This morning, we're now learning two passengers from the Diamond Princess cruise ship have died. This as authorities let hundreds disembark, freeing them from quarantine. Meanwhile, in South Korea, two and a half million people are now being told to stay indoors as cases there spike and turn deadly. There are now more than 76,000 cases worldwide, more than 2,100 deaths. Adrian Bankert has more. Overnight, as more than 600 passengers disembark from the Diamond Princess, the Japanese government is announcing the first deaths from the virus-stricken vessel. Two passengers, a couple in their 80s, who were taken off the Princess, died after being hospitalized. Japan now has three deaths from coronavirus or COVID-19. When we left the ship, we had no idea we were carrying the virus. 66-year-old California resident Carl Goldman and his wife went from vacation to a Nebraska biocontainment unit. Carl tested positive for the virus two days after leaving the ship. I kind of feel like I'm a fish inside a, a bowl. Here in Northern California, 12 American evacuees from the Princess who arrived at Travis Air Force Base have now been put into isolation, undergoing evaluation for the virus. The Japanese government has been questioned over its decision to keep people on board the ship. A doctor from Japan who visited the ship for just one day posted a video online calling the quarantine, quote, completely chaotic. Inside Princess Diamond, I was so scared. I was so scared of getting COVID-19 because there was no way to tell where the virus is. Crew members who couldn't be confined to their rooms because they were working are expected to remain on the ship for the foreseeable future. And new this morning, the mayor of a city in South Korea has urged 2.5 million people to remain inside and even wear masks indoors after 35 new patients were diagnosed with COVID-19. 28 of the patients went to church services attended by a woman who had the virus. And we do know this, that that is the South Korea's fourth largest city. Some of those streets now a ghost town as people stay inside. Meanwhile, passengers are going to be flown from Travis Air Force Base out of both Sacramento and San Francisco airports. George, over to you. Okay, Adrian, thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.